guys, welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. If you're new, my name is Ashley and I'm so excited to have you today. I'm about to run into town and head into Dollar Tree, so I thought I would do a little shop with me. I'm gonna be showing you items that I love buying from Dollar Tree and items that I don't. So let's get this video started. We got all the time in the world For better or worse We should stay together So let's stay young and in love We should focus on us Forever Yeah baby if you Are feeling like I do We could run away Across the ocean Baby what you say We can leave today Anywhere we'll go We'll be it's all about you I'm like trying to come down um so I picked eight things that I love and buy from Dollar Tree and then I picked eight things that I wouldn't typically buy from Dollar Tree so I'm going to start off with the items I love um the number one is gift bags I love buying gift bags from there I just feel like they're a really good deal these bigger ones are individual for a dollar but if you buy smaller ones you get like a pack of them like two for a dollar or three for a dollar but they make such a statement and I feel like gift bags can get so pricey I mean you can pay a lot for them at like Walmart and Target. So definitely just run by and stock up. Buy some girly ones, buy some boy ones, buy some whitey ones, buy some birthday ones. And then when you need them, you're not like panicking. I also buy their tissue paper. I didn't pick that up today, but um, just have these on hand and then you're ready to go when a gift comes. Um, speaking of gift or party, a great thing to buy from Dollar Tree are their balloons. Here in Oklahoma or like where I live, it's really hard to find balloons not so much the balloons, but a place to put helium in them. Um, but the Dollar Tree does it. You get a whole balloon and the helium for a dollar, which I don't think you can beat that. They have all different colors and styles and designs. And say you have a birthday party and you're worried about like, are they going to be blown up in time? You can actually do a balloon order where you pick out all the balloons, you pay for them, tell them what time you want to pick them up so saturday morning at eight o'clock you can run in grab your balloons they're good to go when you leave so i think that's a really good option um another thing i buy a lot at dollar tree are storage tubs i just picked this kind but they have tons to choose from all different colors white blacks grays and then actual colors greens reds blues all of that i picked up the gray um i like this style because it like locks I use this a lot when Savannah was younger in the car for like toys because it shuts and then like things don't fall out. Um, but they have all different kinds. So if you're trying to like declutter and get organized and work on your drawers or your closets, they have so many different styles. So definitely check them out for those. Um, tape. I love buying tape from the Dollar Tree. I do get the name brand in this just so I make sure it is sticky and it's going to last. I like this transparent tape where you like can't see it at all and you get two for a dollar. So I'm constantly picking that up. Um, baggies in general, I picked up this kind because I was needing them um, for food storage, but I feel like they have really good brands for Ziploc bags. Or if you want more bang for your buck, you can get like not a name brand, but they have a lot of options. And if you're just in a pinch and don't want to run like all the way to the back of Walmart, I feel like, you know, Dollar Tree has you covered on that. 
Um, the next thing I always get questioned about is my eyeshadow. You guys always love it. It is from the Dollar Tree. They have all different colors. This LA Colors is the brand that I buy and love and you get 12, like 12 colors for a dollar. Um, and they have browns, they have blues. This one's more of a purple. I have on the brown today. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really excited to try out this purple color as well. So definitely look in them for makeup. I do have something that I wouldn't buy in the makeup section. You'll be seeing that coming up. So just be careful with like what you're picking up and your brands. Make sure you know what you're doing. Um, cleaning products that I buy from there. And I think there are good ones. And I think there are ones that I wouldn't waste my money on. But these like, you know, these are like Lysol wipes. I always buy from there. I never buy the Lysol brand. Um, you can't beat this for a dollar. They have all different colors, not colors, but scents. I buy the lavender just because it's calming to me, but they have a green one. I don't know what the color is. And then a yellow, which I'm assuming is lemon. But I like buying them from the Dollar Tree because I have three bathrooms and I like to keep cleaning products underneath each cabinet so I'm not running looking for cleaning supplies. So for a dollar, I can keep each um, counter stocked. And the same goes with my toilet bowl cleaner. This stuff works so well. This is the brand I buy. They do have a It Works brand um, and it's a bigger bottle, but it's more liquidy, like it's really watered down. I think it still works fine, but this one's just a lot thicker gel. And so I feel like it cleans better. It has a better scent. And so to me, it's worth it to get a little bit smaller bottle, um, knowing that it's cleaning a little bit better. Once again, I buy it in threes so that each cabinet can have it. Okay, so those are all the items that I love and I continue to buy over and over and over again. But now let's get into the items that I don't like. Okay, for the items I don't like, it's either I've tried it and I don't like it or just the idea of it freaks me out. So I'm gonna kind of start, I have eight as well. This Sure Fresh is one of them. I've gotten these before. Anything that's supposedly like airtight, just assume it isn't. If you just need it to like store things, if you're gonna store like jewelry or beads or something that doesn't go bad, these containers are fine. But if you're looking for something to actually be airtight to keep food fresh, Dollar Tree is not your place in my opinion. I haven't ever found a brand there that works really well. So I have that on my do not buy. Another thing to not buy are the majority of the toys. Savannah can get some toys that are fine, but for the most part, like these Barbie dolls, um, you know, as soon as you open them up, like the head falls off, the hair falls out, it just breaks really easy. You can tell they look cheap. Um, so I just don't think it's a great buy. There may be a few toys in there you can pick out that are gonna, you know, last a little bit longer, but for the most part, I just, I don't love their toys. Um, another thing I don't love are their brand sticky notes. So sometimes you can actually get the Posty Note brand and that's fine. If you can get those, they work well. These are okay and they're even sticky, but they don't last that long. So if I put it in my calendar, this won't stick as long as the Posty Note. So if you're just making a note and it's just going to be sitting on your desk for like a day or two, these work well. But if you're, you know, play, making a plan for the month and you use these in your planner or, you know, you're using that as a bookmark or something, I don't feel like they're great. So, you know, it's not a terrible product, but definitely if you need it to hold its place and to actually be sticky, I would go with like the actual Posty Note brand. So I bought those before and just didn't love their utensils. I do not love their cooking utensils. They look nice. They're cute if you're just like throwing a basket together and need something just to like add to it. But if you're actually like cooking with it, it's super like bendy. So like scrambled eggs or anything. I don't know. I just feel like you can't do much with it. So like I said, if you're just like trying to make something look cute just to add to it, it's fine. But I do not love their silverware at all or their cooking utensils. Um, another thing I wouldn't buy, I saw all this and I was like I just wouldn't trust it they have hair color for a dollar now there may be some of you that write and be like oh yeah I love it I would not be brave enough to put permanent hair color from the Dollar Tree by all means do it if you want to but that would I don't know here let's open it up and even see what it looks like I didn't even remember so I mean it looks like the kind I pretty much buy it looks like you squeeze this in there but it's not something I would try um, just because it is permanent, but it is cool to set. They sell some crazy stuff in there that you wouldn't think that they would. 
Another thing I wouldn't buy is like liquid foundation and once again this is like a very personal choice but to me and uh, I just wouldn't want my skin to break out and when things get super cheap or even if it's like a better brand you don't know why they're getting it for a dollar so it could kind of be I don't want to say it's out of date because I don't think they could sell it but I would just be careful and maybe that's just my skin you know Savannah and Chase both have sensitive skin so I'm just really careful when it comes to stuff like that I love their makeup but if it's liquidy like this I just it's not worth the whole breakout and trying to get over it and then i have two things left another thing i don't love is their um like their silverware for parties now it's okay if you're just gonna have cake or something but don't get it if you need it to be like heavy duty i even buy the super heavy duty and it's never that great so it's better this is better than like the big pack you get that's not heavy duty but i just don't feel like it's that great so that's something I try not to buy from there and the last thing I would never buy from the Dollar Tree is any of like you have to be really careful with food so there's like some candies I would get in there or snacks but um, bread I hear a lot of people buy their bread and it's super soft so keep that in mind but I would never buy any of their like meat <laughs> to me this is like mystery meat where this came from why it's only a dollar I don't know like there's no way you could get me to try that ever so I really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. I could do many more of these. I could spend so much money in there telling you products that I love and don't like. So definitely give it a thumbs up if you like it so I know to make more of these in the future. And if you're new, please subscribe and join my family here on YouTube. And definitely comment down below if you guys like these videos because I'm happy to do more. I love shopping at the Dollar Tree. I love getting a good deal and I love saving you guys money. So if I can tell you things, um, to not buy that I've tried and learned. I definitely want to share that with you guys. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.